Hello everyone, welcome to part 174 uh, video of advanced ecom series in Laravel 8. So uh, we are going to see the pending points, uh, see the search products point we have done. So we can move this point uh, in done points and now uh, see before doing the SEO tags, this one is important, create CMS dynamic pages. So let's do this point. So uh, this one is something like we have done in uh, basic e-commerce series as well. Okay, so these are the CMS pages that we need to work on like contact pay, terms and condition, FAQ. Okay, so all these pages are the CMS pages that we want to manage from the admin panel. Okay, so I will open the admin panel. Uh, in admin panel, we are going to add the CMS pages module at left sidebar. Uh, in that module, we are going to uh, add uh, those add, edit, view, CMS pages all we can manage from the admin panel okay so we are going to create one table first of all with the help of migration and with the help of seeding we are going to add few cms pages okay so see here in this website i'm going to show you in basic e-commerce series as well we have created these cms pages you can see and these we are managing from the admin panel okay so we are going to create the similar kind of cms pages see all these cms pages privacy policy terms and condition about us all we are managing from the admin panel so same thing we are going to do in advanced ecom series only difference is about little bit of syntax okay so that is the difference here but otherwise it's quite the same thing if you followed the basic e-commerce series then you will feel easy to uh, follow this one as well okay so now uh, see uh, in this video we are going to create the table and for that i'm going to run the migration command i will right click on my project here new terminal at folder and if you are on windows you know that how to run your commands there in windows okay so uh, here uh, i'm going to make one migration file like php artisan make migration and uh, create cms pages table okay so we are going to create the cms underscore pages table okay so this one is the migration file that we can uh, cms pages table you can see this one has been created now we can add a few of the fields we can add here okay so like uh, uh, we can add string uh, sorry uh, sorry sorry table uh, string in string uh, we are going to add the title first field is title okay so after that we are going to add uh, test we are going to add the description and uh, for description we are going to add the test uh, because description can be long enough okay so after that we are going to add the url url or slug you can uh, make it slug okay as well url okay so few more uh, like uh, meta title that we are going to manage from here whenever we will do work on seo so it's good for the seo our next step may be seo meta description okay meta keyword so all we can manage from the admin panel itself we can give these things for the seo purpose and finally status and status uh, we are going to manage in tiny integer okay so this one so after that time stamps okay so now we can create this table simply by running php addition migrate command you can see uh, okay so see this error has come sometimes this error may come but we can run the composer update command uh, see i have recently format my mac and copy the project again into this so maybe uh, this is because of that thing so maybe composer update uh, you can do if such kind of error comes artisan command error or something like this come then you always uh, can run the composer update command once okay so that uh, may resolve the issue so now we are going to again pay, uh, run php artisan migrate command and uh, see now the table has been created okay so if such error comes if you recently format your system or recently reinstall the XAMPP, okay, you copy the your project again, okay, so 
so it's better if you will run the composer update command once again okay make sure to install the composer first and then first after that i am seeing to run the composer update command okay so now see the table has been created we can check once here uh, after going in structure we can see cms underscore pages table and here it has been created okay you can see all the columns have come here okay so that is fine uh, now we can able uh, we will add uh, some of the pages uh, some of the dummy pages with the coming soon content uh, uh, from seeding okay so we uh, will now run the uh, seeding command and for that uh, 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 we can run that uh, uh, command like uh, it is uh, for getting that php artisan make cedar okay so this is the command and we will make it like uh, cms uh, pages table cedar okay so it has been created so we can now open this one cms pages table header and here uh, we are going to write our query but before that we need to attach the cms page model and so we also need to create the model here php artisan make model cms page okay so model name must be like this cms page and we can attach the model here use app cms model cms sorry cms page okay see if you have installed laravel 8 and follow the series then make sure to add the models here okay because all the models are in models folder okay so don't forget to add this one if your models are located under models folder so it's simple enough you can check in your folder like uh, i can go in my project and can check in my app uh, see all the models are outside the models folder there are no models folder even then it's the laravel 8 because when we upgrade our project from laravel 6 to laravel 7 or laravel 7 to laravel 8 models folder never created okay at the time of upgradation model folder never created model forward uh, folder always always created whenever we will install the new installation of laravel 8 remember this point okay so don't worry it's the laravel 8 itself okay and you can check the version as well uh, php artisan i think we can check like this version see it's 8.47 you can see laravel framework 8.47 so don't worry about the first uh, version it's the laravel 8 only only difference is that uh, models are not located inside the model folder okay so uh, now after attaching the model here we need to uh, write our query uh, for inserting the cms pages dummy cms pages here cms page is records we can create like this and I will do like this okay so one more array here inside array id first of all id will be one and then title title can be about us and after title uh, description description of the page that is large enough but we can just add content is coming soon Okay, so after that uh, we will add the URL. In URL we will add here about us, about hyphen us. Okay, then meta title. In meta title uh, we will add about us once again, and after that meta description. In meta description uh, we will add about us once again about us uh, okay about e-commerce website like anything you can write here for the dummy purpose only so meta keywords meta keywords uh, we will write uh, about us in small okay 
so keywords always like this like about uh, so uh, something like this uh, uh, about come about e-commerce uh, anything we can write okay so after that uh, we are having this status status we will keep as one okay so one more we can add here and whose uh, id must be two and title must be we can add like the privacy policy content is coming soon here uh, its url must be privacy policy okay like this and then uh, we can copy this privacy policy and can paste here privacy policy about e-commerce website uh, about privacy policy of e-commerce website okay and here also will come the privacy policy I make sure that uh, you have added everything correctly okay so here we can add simply privacy policy okay so that's done and now uh, yeah so after this one uh, we will simply add cms page uh, and we can insert the cms page like this insert and finally here dollar cms pages records okay so uh, one last step we will add here database cedar open this file and here you can comment the last one and make sure sorry uh, uh, make sure to add this one okay so we can add here and comment this one and here uh, we will replace it with cms pages okay uh, cms pages table seeder so now we need to run the commands here uh, we will first run php artisan db seed if in case some error come then we will see uh, see this error come target class does not exist so see whenever this error comes target class does not exist do one thing composer dump auto load okay run this command once uh, composer dump auto load okay see it will uh, optimize uh, auto load files and now we are going to run that php addition db seed see now the uh, data has been entered you can see and we can check here see the data has been entered into the tables okay so uh, into the table both about us and privacy policy uh, data we able to insert with seeding okay so now you can see that we able to create the table as well as we able to uh, create the data uh, create the two dummy uh, cms uh, pages content uh, in our table in next video we are going to display uh, these cms pages in our admin panel okay here uh, so that we can able to manage these cms pages we can able to add update the content of cms pages and then we can able to display the cms pages at front end as well okay so stay tuned for our next video so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye